Hello! So welcome back to part 3 of this design series. So in this episode we are going to add in the 8 images uh, at the bottom of the design. So let's get on with it. So I'm going to go to the layers panel and just collapse some of these down. So we've got our nice groups. I'm going to create another group and I'm going to double click on the, layer, on the group itself. I'm going to call this images. I'm also going to create a subgroup inside of that. So click on the new group icon, drag this one. So you basically on the middle of the images and then that was put it inside of the images. I'm going to call this row one like that. I'm going to create a layer on the inside. So I can minimize that for now. So I'm going to grab a guide and bring it down to about here like that. Now the size of the actual images are the following. So I'm going to grab the marquee tool. I'm just going to zoom in just so we can see what we're doing. Zoom out a tiny bit more. So the first one, I'm going to turn on the info palette. So the first one is going to be the width is 222. So about here. And the height is 158. So bring that down. So that's close enough. 222159. One pixel is not going to make a massive difference. So that's that in place. So with the layer selected in our row one folder, I'm going to go to the rectangle tool and I'm going to draw a rectangle on that selection so it snaps to it like that and let go. So we've now got our first shape in place. I can deselect that now. So we're going to want to bring in the images uh, that you want to put inside of the actual boxes. So I'm going to open up my first image. So file open. So I've got a folder here with the images that I'm going to use on the design. Like I said, you don't have to use the ones that I use. Uh, you can use your own. So I'm going to grab the first one, which is this one here, the Ferrari. I'm going to open that up. And the, the document is quite a big document. If we go to image and image size, it's 1920 pixels by 1200. So I'm going to control A, control C to copy that. And I'm going to open up my layers panel over here. I'm going to create a layer just above shape 7, so this square. So if I just turn that one there. And I'm going to do control V and that pastes it in. And as you can see, it covers our whole document. Now we're going to use a clipping mask. You may have seen my previous video uh, on Photoshop tips on how to do this. All you have to do is put your cursor in between both layers, hold down the Alt key and the cursor will change. Just click and that now clips it inside uh, of that box. So if I now do control T, I can now do free transform and bring that down. So if I just move it over, bring it down like that. So if I just zoom in so you can see this closely and then control T and then if we just bring it in. So I think I had it roughly like that. So that's the first one in place. Now I added some layer styles onto the actual box itself. So I'm going to double click on the layer and I used the following. So I used an inner shadow. So I changed it from multiply to normal and the color of the inner shadow is the following. So it's 1F2327 and click on OK. Turn off global light. Now the distance was zero, the choke was at 1000, and as you can see it's now sort of giving it a border on the inside. The opacity was at 75%, but the actual size was 6 for the, um, for the actual inner shadow. In fact, I might just increase that up a little bit more. In fact, now I'm going to leave it at 6 like that. And then once we've done that, I used a stroke. So I click on stroke here, change that to a one pixel stroke. And the color is going to be like a lighter color just to make it sort of pop off the page a little. It's going to be 3A, 3C, 3D. And then click on OK. And then click OK again. So if we just collapse that down and turn off the guides, you can see we've got the first one in place. So I'm going to turn the guides back on. So with this first one in place, we want to add the shadow underneath the actual image. So I'm going to duplicate, create a layer just below like that. So we're going to call this one uh, shadow. 
and I'm just going to move over and I'm going to grab the, round, the rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to create a box, a similar sort of shape like that and I'm going to make this black similar technique to what we did previously so with that selected we're going to go to filter blur and gaussian blur one more time click ok to that that's fine and as you can see here we've got our dialog box so we can make the the blur really big or we can change it to what we want really so i'm going to put it to i reckon nine will probably do the job like that and then click on ok so i'm going to turn off the guys with control semicolon and then do control t on the shadow which gives us free transform so if i zoom in so again, it's the same sort of principle, we're going to right click and go to warp. Now we want to bring it in from the top and from the sides, so like this. And we want it just to stick out from the bottom. So I'm going to grab this down like that. So it sort of bends, so arcs like that and then goes up. Now I found a new little trick to this to make it uh, look the same on both sides. So all we have to do is just make it look right for half of it and we can put this side up in the behind it so we can't see that so we basically want it the shadow to start here come all the way across and sort of arc like that so if I OK that as you can see we've got half of it now all we're going to do is go to the shadow duplicate it and then we're going to go to edit transform flip horizontal and as you can see there that flipped straight over and it's now exactly the same shadow now I've just noticed that the alignment's slightly off, so I'm going to select both of the shadows and just nudge it over slightly. And that's looking pretty good to me. So what we can do now, we can merge both of these layers together. So if you right click on them when they're both selected, you probably can't see this, but click on merge layers. And that is now one complete layer. Bring down the opacity a little bit, just so it's a bit more subtle and not so in your face. So 55 offset for that. And if we zoom out, and if we just drop down the layers, you can see that's quite a nice looking shadow on the actual box. So that's the first one done. And it's now just a case of copying them. So what I'm going to do for the sake of being organized, I'm going to grab the number four, the actual box itself, and the shadow. I'm going to group that one, and I'm going to call that number one. So now I can turn that all off in one go. So we need to create some spacing on the right hand side of this image, so it's going to be 25 pixels, so I'm going to grab the marquee tool, go to the info panel, and I'm going to click and just sort of drag out till I get 25, like that, and then I'm just going to put a guide here, so I know, and put a guide just to the end of the image, so we know that's the sort of gutter or the margin. So that's that one done. Uh, if we go back to the layers and just zoom out slightly, all we have to do is copy number one. So we've now duplicated that. I'm going to call this number two. And I'm just going to nudge it over. Like that. Just zoom in because it's not quite all there yet. So we want to make it so it's in line with the guide, which it is, and it's the same on the guide on the top. So again, grab the marquee tool, go to your info panel and drag out another 25 uh, margin like that and then I'm going to just grab another guide out and grab another one to the start of there deselect zoom out and then I'm going to copy number two you get the idea now so this will be number three and this will be nudged over like that so we want to zoom in just to make sure we've got the spacing right and that's slightly out so there you go and if we zoom out we just need to do one more so if we grab the marquee tool just zoom in a tad so if we grab the info panel and then if we click on the end and just drag out to 25 like that grab the guides out as well deselect and then if we grab number three and we can rename that one to number four. So if we nudge this one out, go back to the move tool first. And then that should slot in position if the spacing's correct. And that's pretty close. So that's that one done. So if we zoom out all together now, uh, let's close down this panel. 
And as you can see, we've got all of the uh, boxes in place, but the images we need to change. So we can do that now. So if we click on this one, number two, it takes you straight to the layer. So I'm going to delete. This is the picture. So I'm going to delete this one, create a new layer, and I'm going to open up the image that I want, which is this one here. So I'm going to control A, control C, and I'm going to paste it on that layer. And I'm just going to do the clipping mask trick. And that's now clipped it in, control T, and just resize it to how you want it really. So I'm going to put it so you've got half the car showing like that. So that's that one done. Then the next one, which is number three, again, just delete the layer, create a new one. And I need to open up the other image. So it's this one here. And I'm going to do control A, control C, and I'm going to paste that in also. Now this is a bit of a smaller image, so still use the clipping mask to clip that in. And then just bring that down in size. Like that. And then with the one more for number four, just remove that layer and we can open up this one, the Maserati. So again, control A, control C, and create the new layer, paste, clip it in, control T, and then bring that way down in size to something like that. So that's the first row complete. Now it's dead easy now because we've created the row. All we have to do is duplicate the row like that. And we can just nudge that down. So if we nudge it down like that, that looks pretty good to me. And save that. So we're going to call this row 2. And it's the same principle again, really. Let's just uh, change all the images up. So again, I'm going to delete this layer, create a new one, file open. And this one is a really nice car, the Aston Martin. So if I just close some of these old ones down, I don't need these open. So again, paste that on, clip that in. So bring that way down. like that. So the next one, again, we'll just remove that. So this is sort of the dashboard of the uh, Bugatti Veyron. Again, a very nice car worth about a million pound, I think it is. So again, I'm just going to paste that in, clip it in, and just put it in place. like that. Uh, two more left. Um, again, I'll try and speed this up. So open and I'm going to go for the Audi A3. And I'm just going to paste that one in. Clip it in. Bring it down. That looks good to me. And then the final one remove that, file open and it should be down here and it's the Porsche create a new layer, paste it on again this is quite a small image anyway and clip that one in and bring that down that's pretty good to me so all of that's in place we can just collapse all these down and get rid of the layers panel so as you can see here, in the space of about 15 minutes, we've been able to create all of the different uh, images with the shadows and all of that good stuff. So in the next episode, what we'll do is we'll add on the two ribbons here, the, actual, the two buttons to make the slider, and then all we've got to do then is create the footer, and we're complete. So as usual, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave any comments below. Feel free to subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video.